Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my unboxing of the new October Tribe Beauty Box, as well as a full review of the August box. Like, I am pretty excited about this because I'm pretty sure, like, throughout my whole experience, the August box has been, like, the best box I've gotten. And because, like, the bar was set so high of the August box, I've got expectations for the October box. But uh, before we jump in, I did want to mention very quickly that I did just post a video within the last week about my new no buy. Um, I did mention, I forgot to mention it in the video itself, but in the description box, I did mention this subscription box. It is the only subscription box that I have. And I did dedicate myself to doing a full year with this box. So that was all of 2020. I started with the January box and my last box will be the December 2020 box. Uh, once I get charged for the 20, the December box, which I think should happen in in like late November, um, I'm gonna cancel it there and then just continue my low buy into early 2021. But I just wanted to make that very clear in case I confuse anyone with that with that no buy video and then this upcoming unboxing video. So like the rest of all my videos, we're gonna first go through and review everything in the last box, which is the August box, and then we will go and unbox everything in the October box. All right, so I have the card that came with the August box and let's just go down the line and review everything. And like I said, I had a really good experience with this box. So, ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so the first product on here is the palette. So I got the Nomad Cosmetics Lake Como palette and this retails for $27. This is a great palette. I actually really enjoy it. The packaging feels... Okay, I don't know if you could hear the geese out there, but rude, it's, excuse, it, it is dinner time. Geese, chill. Anyway, the packaging on this feels really nice. It's thick, but not too thick. It feels nice and sturdy. I love the mirror. It's a huge mirror. And then we have all the shades. This is a lovely palette. I love that there are some light shades up here. Unfortunately, those will not work for all skin tones, but for someone of my complexion, this works really well. I like that there is like some middle shades between green and blue kind of in the middle and then like this bottom row they're gorgeous i'm wearing this dark blue shade and then this light blue shade right over here on my lower lash line today but i've used this multiple times just as a full eye look and this is a stunning palette that I will definitely keep in my collection. I'm so happy that I got this, especially because I haven't really tried a whole lot from Nomad Cosmetics, and this is like the main reason I got this box, was so that I could try new brands and new products, and this is one of the best hits. I think one of the best palettes I've gotten from this subscription. Next on the card, we have this oil. So this is from Habanaria Marinea. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I could 100% be wrong on that. This is the Oak Moss and Coconut Body Shimmering Oil. So I used this a couple of times as a hand moisturizer, which worked really well, but recently I've been using it as a cuticle oil. Like whenever I do my nails, just using it as a cuticle oil, and then like, since I'm home all the time, I can actually moisturize a bit more often after I wash my hair, wash my hair, wash my hands constantly. And using this as just a little cuticle oil, so what I do is I literally take like less than this, tap it onto, my nails and just rub it in in my cuticles it my cuticles have never been this moisturized and fantastic like just a little bit like that and then it lasts almost all day and mm, I really like this as a cuticle oil it is fantastic and because of how huge this bottle is I will never have to buy another cuticle oil again I don't think so <laughs> between this and the cuticle oil that I already had, but this actually works better than like the cheap cuticle oil I was using before. I saw a difference, a noticeable difference in my nails. Not only like this, I actually don't know exactly what is in here, but I noticed I've been able to grow my nails out longer. Like this is the longest I've had my nails in a long time. And one of the only differences in my routine is this oil that I've been using at least multiple times a week, if not every day, on my nails. So yeah, I, I'm singing their praises as a, the geese are back. So I'm singing this brand's praises as a great cuticle oil because it's just been fantastic. It smells great, it works really well on my cuticles, and I, I keep it like in my everyday makeup basket on the very top so I can reach for it and just use it, and I, I love it. <laughs> this, this was actually fantastic. So not for the intended use which was supposed to be like a shimmering body oil but i found a really good use for it all right next we have these two brushes from luxie beauty i have to say i really enjoyed this one this is the 516 duo fiber powder brush i've been using this daily you can see it's like dirty i'm using this daily to blend out my contour it is the perfect size and shape 
I, I love this brush. I've washed it multiple times. It's held up really well. It works really well for blending out my contour. It's it's fantastic. I really, really enjoy this brush. I'm glad that I got that one. I have to say, the other brush, which is the 660 Precision Foundation brush, I have not been using as often, but I did use this as a blush brush. And personally, this kind of fluffy brush I would not personally use for foundation. I would use this either for targeted face powder, like in my T-zone for a touch-up, or I would use this as blush. And I used this for blush quite a few times, and it was really, really nice. I just have other brushes that I like a little bit better for blush because I am going for like a kind of bigger all over blush. This is great for targeted blush but it was still a really nice brush and again I did wash this multiple times. It's really nice. I love also just like the design of the brushes. They feel very luxe. They feel they have a nice heft to them. The brushes are really soft. The, br the bristles, that's the word. The bristles are really soft and I have not seen any shedding from these and I've washed them multiple times. So I actually am um, really glad that I got those brushes. To be 100% honest, I'm not sure about those price points, $23 and then $25 respectively. But if I knew that I would literally be using the brush every day, I would say that price would be worth it because I have been using this, at least this one, daily. We have two products left and the first one is the Wander Beauty Double Date Lip and Cheek. So this retails for $22 and this was the really gorgeous light a uh, sheer liquid, not liquid, a uh, cream blush. And then there's this little um, lip balm, which I should actually use. I totally forgot this had a lip balm in it, to be 100% honest. I actually almost thought I did not have any lip balm, so I'm glad I found um, my notoriously morbid chapstick, <laughs> so I'm using that. But now that I remember that this actually has a lip balm in it, I have to remember that whenever I finish this notoriously morbid one, to bring this out, because it is a good chapstick. And I really like the way that this is put together and presented. This is also like right on trend and it was the perfect addition to this box. So I have to commend Tri Beauty Box for putting this in because it was like amazing. I love the shade itself. I thought maybe it might be a little too hot pinky for me, but this is a beautiful shade that blends out really nicely. You can see you get like this really pretty sheer like rosy tone to it and it looks beautiful with like on a no makeup day it looks great underneath or underneath like powder you can powder over it and it still pops through and looks really nice so I, I actually really like this product again I'm like I mentioned before this was like one of the best boxes I've gotten and I'm so glad I got this I just have to remember because when I see it because you see it and you only see that one shade I have to remind myself that it actually comes with like a lip balm just so I actually like use it you know Last and certainly not least, we have from Corsex the Acne Pimple Master Patches. I used like more than half of these and I have to say I am shocked at how well these work. I tend to get really bad breakouts right around uh, my period, around the time of the month. So I actually had one right over here and I have one like right down here. Um, so I use these patches and I have to say overnight, I like to wear these overnight so that they can kind of seep in and like really get at it. But I'm used to during my like cycle, having the period there, having the um like pimple there for like the half a week before my period until like a week after my period's done or if that, I mean, it varies. But like with these, my period, my periods, I wish my periods went away, right? <laughs> my pimples went away so much faster and it, they were a lot less painful because I do tend to get quite a few of like those big under the skin kind of like building breakouts that aren't as fun, you know, and they don't really come to a head as easily. This worked amazing for those. Like it actually brought down the swelling and made them hurt a lot less. So I will definitely be looking into purchasing these after my no buy <laughs> if I need them still. Um, but right now, I think I have a few left. Let's see. Yeah, I've got like a little bit less than half of them left, but they work really well and I'm so glad that I got to try these in the box. So that is everything I got in the August box and like I said, I think we were five for five. Like for the first time, I'm just like really impressed, really enjoyed every product that I got. And so that box was 100% worth it to me. So now that we've got the August box all reviewed and out of the way, let's jump into what is up with my neighborhood today? First it was the geese, then it was the cars. It's... So now that we've got the August box reviewed, let's jump straight into the unboxing of the October box. All right, so everything is kind of packaged in this one little package right here. And then we have our card. And this month it is Dusk to Dawn is the theme. 
Ooh, looking nice. Okay, so first things first, let's go with the palettes. There was an option between two palettes. I ended up getting the Pure Cosmetics Defense Anti-Pollution Palette, which, ooh, look at this packaging. That looks, that looks cute. Okay, so let's get this baby open. I have tried a couple of Pure palettes, and I really do enjoy their, ooh, this feels nice. I enjoy their neutrals, but ooh, look at this. This is a sturdy palette. It feels really nice. I love that. You see the smoke effect on that? Ooh, okay, let's open this up and... <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, it's basically like a smoky palette. Ooh, this is this is perfect for like this time of year. Oh, I love the pack. Look how big this mirror is. Like, hello, the camera. But look how big. And it stands up on its own. And the shades look really pretty so it looks, seems like we've got like our traditional smoky eye right here and then we've got options for other colorful smoky eyes Ooh, i'm excited to try this out Ooh, especially let me, i want to dip my finger into that silver shade Ooh, i want to play with this palette Ooh, look at the silver Ooh, i'm excited so i'm really excited about that palette and according to the card this retails for 34 dollars so I will test it out and see whether or not it is worth that. Next, we have a product from Gerard Cosmetics, and this is the Clean Canvas Eye Concealer and Base. According to the card, this base makes the perfect canvas for your eyeshadow art while minimizing the appearance of eyelid lines and increasing the wear time of any eyeshadow. Mm, and it says it could also be used as a spot concealer. I can't open this. Let's get this open. Oh, it looks very nice. Look at this cute packaging. Let's crack this open. Oh, it's liquidy. I don't I don't know why I was expecting like a uh, a MAC paint pot kind of texture, but this is like a whip liquidy kind of thing. Oh, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, so it is like a light parchment kind of shade. I just want to do a little swatch to see. Yeah, it's like a light concealer shade. That is so interesting to me. Okay. I have to say, like, for the most part, whenever I do test out a new concealer to me, I test it out as a spot concealer, as an under-eye concealer, but then also as a, an eye base, just because that's mainly the three ways I use concealer. So for me, it is interesting to see something that is mainly marketed as an eyeshadow base also be marketed as a concealer. So that gives me more ways to try this out. Because I have to say, anything that I do buy as just an eyeshadow base, like the MAC Paint Pots or like the Crow and Pebble, um, bases. I only use those as eyeshadow primers. I don't use those as spot conceal, you know, vice versa. So this is interesting. I'll have to try this out. And according to the card, this retails for $22. So right around the, the price of a MAC paint pot. Choo choo. All right. Next, we have a product from Earth Harbor. This is the Helios Anti-Pollution Youth Ampule. Okay. Doubt. Let's read about it. Helios worships your face, okay, by renewing skin through stem cell technology while restoring depleted antioxidants, normalizing skin pH, smoothing fine lines and wrinkles, and enveloping you in a sensual ritual with her velvety consistency and citrus blossom aroma. So, okay, someone had someone had fun with that marketing copy. And the train, we had the geese, we had the cars, and now we have the trains. It's just... It is a crazy Sunday night here in New Jersey, apparently. So I'm assuming this is a serum. Of, oh, that looks pretty. I'm sorry. As soon as I saw I pulled it out, I was like, oh, that is pretty. This looks like a brand I've seen at, like, Marshalls. Like, doesn't the bottle, like, the bottle looks very familiar to me. Like, I first pulled this out, and I was shocked by the color. It looks very pretty. But then second, I looked at just the bottle, and this, I could have sworn... I've seen like this brand at like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx back when I was shopping. So that's kind of really familiar to me. Anyway, so this is supposed to be an anti-pollution youth ampule, which I'm assuming it's just a serum. I don't know. Interesting. I, I'm excited to try that out. It says it targets spe specifically pollution control, fine lines and wrinkles, after sun and stressed skin. I have to say, I have not been leaving my house because COVID. <laughs> so pollution control and after sun may or may not be able to test against that but uh i am i do have some fine lines and wrinkles and i i am constantly stressed <laughs> so anyway i'm excited to try this out it sounds fast sounds fascinating i kind of want to give it a whiff okay good it's not really a strong scent it just smells fresh you know 
like skincare should, in my opinion. But this retails for $48, which to me seems a bit stiff. So I am gonna have to look into that and see whether or not I think it's gonna be worth the full 48. Next, we have a product from Suva Beauty, and this is the Illusionist Liquid Lipstick. According to the card, Suva Beauty's glossy lamination liquid lipstick is formulated to deliver a punch of opaque color and comfortable flexibility. I have no idea what the shade is going to be, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see what color, what color. Oh, okay. Like a berry. Ooh. I was going to put this on, but like, I don't think that matches what I've got going on right now. So let's just do a swatch. All right, it looks like a berry. Ooh, ooh, that looks pretty. That's like a really pretty like Thanksgiving shade. Ooh, that looks pretty. Okay, so I can't wear it right now because I don't think it would match the blue in my eyeshadow, but it looks very nice. It smells a little bit, but not really. It's also kind of like candy canes. Interesting. This retails for $18, and I've never tried any lipsticks from Suva. I think I've only tried their eyeshadows, so I'm pretty excited to give this a shot. And last but certainly not least, we have a product from LA Splash, and this is the Lumos Liquid Metals Duo, a jumble, jumble, a jumbo felt tip liner and a cut crease definer. Interesting. So according to the card, it says this is an all-in-one duo eyeliner that can be used to create an array of looks. A buildable water-based liner that contains super fine glitters in a clear base that dries down quickly and stays put with zero fallout. You're making a lot of claims here. Let's get you open. Ooh, okay. So yeah, so we've got the packaging right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just all swatch both sides. So it looks like it's going to be a light pink glitter. Ooh, it actually matches the lipstick pretty well. And then let me swatch the liner on the other side. That is a thick, <laughs> that is a thick felt tip. Jesus. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that is really dark black. Okay. So there we have it. There's a the liner and then that's the glitter. I have to say, they did a really good job of matching these. Like this could be a pretty look together. Huh. I have to say I am fascinated. I really do want to try this out. And I think it's been a while since I've used a felt tip that wasn't NYX. Because I think the NYX liner that I have is felt tip. So yeah, but it's it's a very dark and it's a, a skinnier line than I was expecting. So I will have to give that a shot. And according to the card, this retails for $18. So there we have it. That is everything in my October 2020 Tribe Beauty Box that I will be testing for the next couple of months for you guys. And then all of my thoughts on the August 2020 box, which in my humble opinion, was the best box I've gotten so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you have Tribe Beauty Box and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.